look at it. What do you think? You like it? Beautiful. Welcome back to our channel. We are Lindsay and Tyler and this week we are super excited to share with you our latest furniture find. We found this piece randomly which is always our favorite way to find furniture. We were on our way to lunch. We were actually in my Honda Civic but as we were driving we noticed this really beautiful wood piece of furniture and immediately we knew that lunch was going to be postponed. <laughs> we drove back home, grabbed Tyler's bigger vehicle and we're able to grab this beautiful antique piece that someone tossed in the trash. As you can see the piece is an antique hutch and when we were loading it we noticed that it does have quite a bit of damage. It's got some chipping in places, the veneers peeling off so we've got our work cut out for us but I think we are excited to remake this beautiful piece and bring it back to life. Here we go. <laughs> All right, we've got the piece in our backyard. The whole thing needs a lot of work, but mainly the top is in really bad shape. It's got a lot of chipping veneer that we can't salvage. So we're gonna go ahead and start by peeling the top veneer off. All right, we're gonna start by removing these old casters here. There were only the front casters on this when we found it. We looked in the dirt and couldn't find them, but we're gonna remove that. So then we have this laying flat. Right out. <laughs> nice. is gone. We definitely have a couple chunks to fill in, but it's a clean slate. As you can see, there's definitely some chunks that are missing on the top and on the front of the drawer. So we're gonna go ahead and use some Bondo to fill those in before we get to the next step. Ah! Okay. partner being gentle with how we feel there's a charge in the room I can feel all the fire rising I'll handle with care All right, we got everything all filled with Bondo. We're gonna let it dry for about 15 minutes, come back and sand off all the excess. We sanded down the Bondo until the top was super smooth and we were even able to salvage this leg. We're gonna go with our next step, which is to prime. You don't always have to prime, but this is a very dark wood and I would suggest using a pretty intense primer. Kills is honestly one of our favorites. You're gonna wanna put this on first so then later when you add your paint, none of the tannins from the wood 
bleed through. So this is definitely a necessary step on this piece. So let's get to priming. I don't know when we use this last. I spend most of my time viewing what I want from the outside. I comb it over like it's the scene of a crime. The only guilty I find it is the next morning and it is like 30 degrees colder out which is crazy but I'm here for it because we will take all of the colder days here in Florida that we can get. The piece is all primed. We did two coats of primer and now we're going to move on to a chalk paint. This is by the brand Routique It. Once again we're trying to use paint we already have. I'd rather just use our supplies and use it till it's gone. This is in the color Seal of the Night. It's a really pretty sage teal color, so we're going to go ahead and start applying this paint. What do you think? You like it? Beautiful. It's been a while since we've used this color. Yeah, it still looks great. I'll get dressed up to go downtown. I'm messed up on a Friday night. Not really here for a good time. But if you're up for drinks and a good crowd, out so beautifully I am in love with this paint color this is a great example when you're not able to salvage the wood you can take the time to repair it and then give it a fresh coat of paint and this truly looks like an entirely new piece of furniture give it a second life now we're gonna list this on Facebook marketplace locally to make a little bit of extra money and to also just save this from the trash because that's where it was for a uh, quite a while if you like this kind of video please take a second to like and subscribe to our channel we're always working on furniture flips or DIY projects so stay tuned for next week because we have a, another fun project to share with you